Hello, I'm JT Quicks. I love you all. You're all awesome. Okay? This week, we're going to talk about removing your fear. Okay? I always want you to believe in yourself. Never, ever give up to win against evil. Okay? That's going to be the name of the video. Okay? Because we need to remove our fear. Okay? And that's how we remove our fear. All right? So we're going to talk about that. Okay? Um, that's going to be the subject of this video. Okay? Because that's what these videos are about. How to remove your fear. Because what happens is evil is created from fear. And if we can remove the fear, we can remove the evil. Okay? So what happens is when a person lives in fear, they prejudge and they hate. Okay? But when you remove the fear, when you remove the fear, you'll stop prejudging and you'll stop hating others. Okay? All right? And that's why we're going to talk about how to remove your fear more. Always believe in yourself. Never, ever give up to win against evil. Okay? Because we need to remove the fear. Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. Okay? All right? And, uh... Fear goes against two things, okay? Fear goes against you believing in yourself and believing in heaven, okay? All right? Those are the things that fear goes against, okay? And uh, that's going to, what do you call it? What happens is when you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, you remove all your fear. When you remove all your fear, your soul enters heaven, okay? That's pretty much you know how that goes okay so all right so we're going to talk about that all right uh satan is fear fear is satan this must be removed okay all right and evil's created from fear things like prejudice and hate is created from fear let's talk about the things that are created from fear okay some of the things that are created from fear is prejudice and hate Okay, evil's created from the prejudice and hate. All right. Uh, what else? Um, all the chaos you see around the world, that's created from prejudice and hate. Okay, which is created from fear. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? Um, the hate and corruption. All the hate and corruption you see, that's prejudice and hate. Hate and corruption. What is hate and corruption? You have pain and suffering throughout maybe your country and throughout the world, okay? Things like that, okay? Uh, prejudice and hate creates evil, okay? Things like mental illness and suicide, it's all comes from evil. It's all caused by evil, okay? And that's created from prejudice and hate, okay? What happens is Evil creates fear. That that's what happens, okay? All right? So, what other things? Um, terrorism is created from fear, okay? Terrorism is created from prejudice and hate, okay? Okay? So, that's that's evil, okay? You know, when a, when a country gets attacked by evil, they get attacked by terrorism. When a person gets attacked by evil, they get attacked by prejudice and hate okay all right when a country gets attacked by evil they get attacked by terrorism this creates fear this attacks love and freedom and creates fear okay when a person gets attacked by evil they get attacked by prejudice and hate this also attacks their love and freedom and creates fear on them okay Keeping their love weak and broken in prejudice and hate. Okay? Because that's all created from fear. Like I said, Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. All this is created from fear. All this bad stuff we see going on around the world. It's created from fear. Okay? Um, hope I didn't miss anything there. I'm trying to get it all into you. You know, I'm just, everything's off the cuff, okay? All right. My soul's been in heaven for over 10 years now, okay? 
I see the truth in real time. I see Satan. I see the truth in real time. Okay? All right? Uh, I can tell you what heaven is. Heaven is a beautiful, tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul. Okay? All right? That, that's what heaven is. And evil attacks that. Evil attacks love and freedom. Okay? When you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, you're defending love and freedom with its forces of love. Okay? When you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, through believing in yourself and never ever giving up to win. Okay? Against evil. Okay? So, and that removes your fear and we keep the fear out. That's what we're doing. Okay? Alright? So your love will increase. What we want to do is make your love powerful and unbreakable okay because jesus christ is powerful unbreakable love so we're, we're making your love powerful and unbreakable and we achieve this through believing in ourselves and never ever giving up to win against evil that's how we achieve this powerful unbreakable love this powerful unbreakable love delivers your soul to heaven because this is what you're doing you're defending your love heaven while delivering your soul to heaven okay that's what you're doing okay and this defends love and freedom with its forces of love okay and i show you how to achieve this in my videos okay that's what these videos are all about so we can remove your fear and get your soul back in heaven where it belongs okay all right so because what happens is if you live in fear you defend Satan. If you remove your fear, you defend heaven. Okay? All right? You want me to explain a little bit more on how evil attacks us? Well, evil attacks us through prejudice and hate. Okay? That's how evil attacks us. This prejudice and hate keeps our love weak and broken. Okay? All right? That's what the prejudice and hate does. Prejudice and hate keeps your love weak and broken in fear. So by keeping you in fear, you never deliver your soul to heaven and you never see the truth from heaven. Okay? All right? So that, that's what prejudice and hate does. Okay? And the prejudice and hate is created from the fear. That's why we need to remove the fear. As we remove the fear, we'll increase the forces of love we will fight back prejudice and hate. Okay? That's what we will be doing when we start removing our fear and become warriors for heaven. Okay? So, all right. Um, what else can we talk about? Yeah, okay? All right. Uh, let's talk about delivering your souls to heaven now, okay? Uh, an animal, do you want me to tell you how an animal delivers its soul to heaven first? Okay, all animals win when they die. Well, how do they do this? Because their souls are already in heaven, okay? All animals are unconditional love, okay? Animals that live in the wild, okay? They, they, that they have to survive in the wild. Now, in order for an animal to survive in the wild, it, it always believes in itself, okay? And it never, ever gives up to win, to survive in the wild. That keeps its soul in heaven while it's alive because it never gives up, okay? to win, to survive in the wild. In order to survive in the wild, that's what it's gotta do. It does this automatically. It's instinct for an animal, okay? To survive in the wild, so it does this automatically. Well, we as humans, we live in, we live in civilization because the civilization, we have fear and evil, okay? The fear and evil is keeping our souls out of heaven, okay? So what we need to do is we need to drive against this fear of evil, okay? And we do this when we, when we believe in ourselves, okay? It works the same way, when we believe in ourselves and we never ever give up to win against evil because now we're in civilization. So now you're, you're going up against evil, okay? When you're in civilization, things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships, these are evil, okay? These create fear on us keep our souls out of heaven, okay? All right, things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships, these are evil, okay? All right, 
These are keeping your souls out of heaven. That's how civilization keeps your soul out of heaven. Okay? All right? Because it's fear and evil that's keeping your soul out of heaven, and you find fear and evil in civilization. Okay? Back before civilization, we were human animals, okay? We were Indians, caveman, cavewoman, maybe Indians, things like that. And we had to survive in the wild. We were delivering our souls to heaven back then because we had an instinct to survive in the wild. Okay? And we were delivering our souls to heaven back before civilization. Okay? This was before Jesus Christ. Okay? All right? So, okay? Because we had to survive in the wild. We were delivering our souls to heaven back before civilization because we were back, we were like human animals, like Indians and caveman, cavewoman, things like that. We had to survive in the wild before civilization. We were delivering our souls to heaven because we had that instinct in us to survive in the wild. But now that civilization is there, now you got fear and evil in civilization as, as, as fear was created, okay? This is where Satan started a war against heaven. This is where fear was created, okay? And when the fear was created, as civilization traveled throughout the world or throughout the land, so did fear and evil, and this was keeping our souls out of heaven, okay? So, all right? And that's when the war started against heaven, was back before civilization, when fear was created, okay? Back when fear was created, this is this is when Satan started a war against heaven, because Satan is fear, fear is Satan. So this is where the war started against heaven, okay? All right, so I figured I'd touch a little bit on that too, okay? The war for heaven, okay? That's how that started, all right? Um, when fear was created, okay? And what happened was you all went into fear, and when you all went into fear, you stop seeing the truth from heaven. You stop delivering your souls to heaven. Okay? Because that fear is Satan. Satan is fear. This is keeping your souls out of heaven. Okay? Is the fear and the evil. Okay? Evil creates fear. Fear creates evil. It's a vicious cycle. What I'm showing you how to do is break that cycle. Okay? We need to break that cycle and put your soul back in heaven where it belongs. Okay? So I'm showing you how to break that cycle or, you know, go up against prejudice and hate to put your soul back in heaven where it belongs. Okay? So, all right. Uh, we're still talking about how to deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? Uh, when you believe in yourself, you remove your fear. That removes your fear, okay? Basically, when you believe in yourself, you're removing your fear. The more you believe in yourself, the more fear you you'll remove, okay? You'll start removing your fear, okay? So what happens is you believe in yourself, right? See, fear goes against two things. Like I said earlier, fear goes against two things. Fear goes against you believing in yourself and believing in heaven, okay? We need to believe in heaven again is probably what we need to do. And when we remove our fear, we'll start to believe in heaven again. That's why I want you to believe in yourself because that will remove your fear and you'll start to believe in heaven again, okay? Um, so when you believe in yourself, that's gonna remove your fear, okay? When you never give up to win against evil, this is gonna make your love unbreakable, okay? So what we're doing is we're removing the fear. See, when we remove the fear, we're gonna build courage. That builds courage, okay? And this is gonna increase the forces of your love because now you're starting to build courage because you're removing your fear. Okay, so what happens is you start to overcome fear, okay? You'll start to overcome fear and you never give up to win against evil, makes your love unbreakable. See what evil does, evil breaks love. That's what evil does, evil breaks love. By making yourself unbreakable, evil can't break you anymore. So what's gonna happen is your love is gonna increase. The forces of your love will increase because you'll become powerful, unbreakable love, just like Jesus Christ. Okay? Through believing in yourself and never giving up to win 
against evil. Okay? So we're making your love powerful and unbreakable, just like Jesus Christ. Okay? And what we're doing is we're going against evil. We're doing this against evil because, see, evil's going to try to break you when you do this. So we're going to get into that a little bit later, okay? All right? Think things you don't want to fear, okay? Don't fear God, okay? Don't fear Jesus Christ, love in heaven. Don't fear it because it's your best friend. Jesus Christ is your best friend. Do you fear your best friend? No. Don't fear Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your best friend, okay? Don't fear him, okay? Jesus Christ is your best friend, okay? All right? And you can talk to Jesus. It's, it's fine. He hears you, okay? So, all right? Don't fear Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your best friend, okay? Don't fear God. That's what I'm trying to say. I think that's the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they fear God and it, they go the other way because they're in fear. We need to remove the fear. That's why I don't want you fearing God, okay? God is your best friend, all right? Don't fear judgment, okay? There is no judgment, okay? You're removing the prejudice out of your love. When you do this, because you're removing your fear, you'll be removing the prejudice out of your love. You'll be removing your prejudice and your hate. So as your love gets stronger and stronger and stronger, and you remove more and more of that fear, you're gonna stop prejudging and stop hating others, okay? You'll automatically behave, okay? And you'll stop attacking others with prejudice and hate, okay? So, because you're gonna remove that as you, as you remove your fear, you'll stop prejudging and you'll stop hating. Okay? All right? Because uh, there's no judgment in love. Okay? You're removing all the judgment. Uh, what else? Um, as you remove more and more of your fear, okay, you're going to overcome things. Okay? You overcome things. So, if you remove all your fear, you're going to overcome suicide. Okay? That will probably be the first thing you're going to overcome. When you overcome suicide, you may get attacked by evil. Things can go bad for a while. You can live a life with no hope, things like that. Just know that you delivered your soul to heaven. Okay? And there's always hope because you delivered your soul to heaven. Okay? So, when you remove all your fear, you're not going to fear death. Okay? You're not going to fear death anymore. Just because you don't fear death doesn't mean you can commit suicide. You commit suicide, Satan wins. You don't commit suicide, you win. Okay? When you deliver your soul to heaven, you win. Okay? Because you're overcoming evil. This is how we overcome evil. Okay? So when you overcome evil, you're going to overcome other things too. Other things. That, that we get addicted to or other habits, you may overcome those too on the way, okay? On your journey, okay? So you overcome these things as you removing more and more of your fear and you're increasing the forces of your love. Your love is becoming more powerful and unbreakable. You overcome things, okay? This is how we overcome evil, okay? And what happens is, as you overcome everything, okay, right, and you remove all your fear, and you never give up to win against evil, making your love unbreakable, and you always believe in yourself, this makes your love powerful, okay, right, okay, you become a non-sinner, automatically, you become a non-sinner, as you become a non-sinner, you remove all your fear, your soul enters heaven. So you never give up to win against evil. Never give up to win against evil. And that's going to increase the forces of your love. And that will keep your soul in heaven while you're alive. Okay? This is where you're not going to fear death. Because you know you're going to win when you die. If you know you're going to win when you die, you're not going to fear death. Because you know you're going to heaven when you die. Because your soul's already in heaven. That means when you die, your soul stays in heaven when you win when you die, okay? So what happens is, okay, 
we don't want, we don't want you, you're not going to fear death. So, so you have no fear in you at all. You're going to have absolutely no fear in you. Okay? So, and your soul's in heaven. Never give up to win against evil. And that keeps your soul in heaven while you're alive. Okay? All right? Um, what else? Uh, I don't bow and break to prejudice and hate. Okay? What happens is, as you deliver your soul to heaven, you're going to see more and more the truth from heaven. Okay? You start learning the difference between good and evil from heaven. Okay? You automatically behave. You're automatically going to behave because you're going to see the difference between good and evil from heaven. Okay? All right? Uh, you may start seeing evil throughout your you know, throughout your land. You'll start understanding the truth in real time, things like that. You'll definitely start understanding the truth in real time. Maybe you'll see, uh, you know, maybe you, you know, you'll start seeing evil. you start seeing prejudice and hate, like I do. I see prejudice and hate, okay? That's what happened to me. I was seeing prejudice and hate. This is why I learned the difference between heaven and hell and, you know, things like that. Okay? Where well, I learned the difference between good and evil. Okay? Good and bad. You know what I mean? I started learning the difference from heaven. I never read the Bible. Okay? So I learned everything I learned come from heaven. Okay? I learned the truth about Jesus Christ. That I got, I received that from heaven. Okay? I get messages from Jesus. Okay? One of the messages I received was, uh, was he told me, you know, after my soul entered heaven, Jesus told me that he was attacked by evil before he could tell you how to deliver your souls to heaven. That was one of the messages I received after my soul entered heaven. Okay? So, and I just never gave up, and I kept, never gave up. Okay? Kept winning. Never give up to win against evil. And this increased the forces of my love. I see more and more and more of the truth. Okay? All right? So, you may start seeing the, just the truth in real time. Things like that. Okay? I only bow and break to Jesus Christ's love in heaven. I only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love and heaven. I do not bow and break to prejudice and hate. I learned the difference between the two, okay? So, and this delivered my soul to heaven, okay? All right, uh, so, okay? Uh, what else? Okay, when you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, this is what you're doing. You're defending your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven, okay? You are defending love and freedom with its forces of love. Okay? That's what you're doing. Okay? Because you're defending love and freedom with its forces of love, that's what heaven is. Heaven is a beautiful, tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul. That's what heaven is. And that's what you defend when you deliver your soul to heaven correctly. You'll be defending heaven. When you remove all your fear, you defend heaven. If you live in fear, you'll defend Satan. That's the way it is. Okay? Remove all your fear, your soul enters heaven. Okay? That's what these videos are all about. I'm putting these videos on every week. Okay? So we can remove your fear. Okay? So we can remove the fear. All right? Um, what else? Yeah. All right? So everything's off the cuff. So I, I try to figure out what I'm going to talk about next, okay? So uh, let's talk about the causes and effect, okay? The causes and effect between prejudice and hate and its forces of love, okay? Here's how, here's how evil keeps us weak, okay, in fear. How evil keeps us weak in fear is through its prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards, okay? The prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards live in fear. Remember what I said? Live in fear, defend Satan. Remove your fear, defend heaven.
okay? So the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards live in fear, okay? They attack the truth, they hate heaven, and they attack the forces of love that come from heaven, okay? That's what the trolls and cowards attack, the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards, okay? That is Satan's army, okay? They defend Satan, okay? And what they do is, what they do is they keep your love weak and broken in prejudice and hate. This is what they do. This is what, what the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards do. They break your love, keep it weak in fear. That's what the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards do. They break your love, keep it weak in fear. This is what the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards do. Okay? So, in order to go against this, you're believing in yourself. You're never ever giving up to win against evil. You're making your love unbreakable. Okay? Because evil breaks love. That's what evil does. Evil breaks love. And when evil can't break you, you made your love unbreakable. So you need to make you unbreakable. That's what we're doing. Okay? So what happens is, as you increase the forces of your love, because you delivered your soul to heaven correctly, what's going to happen is, you're going to hurt their prejudice. What's going to happen is, your love's going to react against their fear. Your love reacts against their fear. They prejudge and hate you. That's what happens. Because that's where the prejudgment and hate's created from, is the fear. So when your love reacts against their fear, they prejudge and hate you. That's how that works. Okay? That hurts their prejudice. Okay? That's what that does. So, so what happens is, as, as they, what they're going to do is they're going to come at you. Okay? The prejudice and hate trolls and cowards are going to come at you with things like hate, ball breaking, chop breaking, the stab in the back, prejudice attack. They're going to talk behind your back. They're going to blame you for this, blame you for that. Everything is your fault. They're going to troll you. Forget about it. You know what I mean? Because you're in the war for heaven. So now you got to deal with this. Okay? Because you're in the war for heaven. So you're going to get attacked by its prejudice and hate trolls and cowards. Because you made your love unbreakable. They're going to try to break your love. That's what they're going to do. Okay? That's how they break your love. They, you, they, they, that's called breaking. They're trying to break you. And they use hate. They use ball breaking. Chop breaking. The stab in the back. Prejudice and attack. They blame you for this, blame you for that. Everything is your fault. They troll you. Forget about it. Okay? That All that breaks love. All that stuff breaks love. What I'm doing is I'm showing you how to make your love unbreakable so that doesn't break your love anymore. Okay? We need to make you unbreakable because I want you to win. When we make you unbreakable, you win. I want you to win. You understand? So we want to make you unbreakable. I don't want them breaking you. I want to make you a warrior for heaven. Okay? I'm showing you how to become a warrior for heaven. We are showing you how to become a warrior for heaven. I'm sorry. We. I mean Jesus Christ, love in heaven, okay? We are showing you how to become a warrior for heaven. Okay? We. Not just me. We. Okay? I am with Jesus Christ, love in heaven. I am part of Jesus Christ, love in heaven. So I say we, that's what I mean, okay? All right? So what happens is the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards, they break love. Keep it weak in fear because they don't want you delivering your soul to heaven because if you deliver your soul to heaven, you become a threat to Satan. You understand? That's why they attack you because you become a threat to Satan. Okay? Really, you know. So, what happens is, let's say somebody hates you, okay? And you know they hate you. And they, they're attacking you. They're, they're breaking your balls or breaking your chops or whatever. You tell them, hey, go kick rocks, go pound sand. You know? That's what you tell them, you know? <laughs> you laugh at them. 
Okay? All right? You laugh at them. You follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. Okay? You follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. Through removing your fear against evil. You follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. Excuse me. Okay? So, they follow Satan into the gates of hell. The prejudice of hate, trolls and cowards, they don't go to heaven. Okay? They follow Satan into the gates of hell. That's what they do. What did I tell you? They attack the truth. Okay? They hate heaven. And they attack the forces of love that come from heaven. The prejudice of hate, trolls and cowards. Okay? That's what they attack. Okay? All this is to keep your love weak in fear so you never see the truth or deliver your soul to heaven. You got fear and evil keeping your soul out of heaven. And all that is coming from its prejudice, innate trolls and cowards. All this fear and evil. Okay? The prejudice of innate trolls and cowards is Satan's army. Okay? I was attacked by all of it. Okay? I know. I got more prejudice and hate stories than Jesus Christ. You understand? So, I know. Okay? Uh, what else? Let's say somebody let's say somebody hates you and they're not leaving you alone. They're breaking your balls or you're breaking your chops or whatever. Okay? And they don't leave you alone. Because what happens is when they can't break you, that drives them mad. Oh, yeah. When they can't break you, that drives them mad. And they keep coming back at you. That's when you tell them, hey, take your prejudice and hate and shove it up your... You know what I mean. Okay? Yeah, you can say the nasty words. This is a war. This is not a religion. This is a war. Okay? All right? We love you. Jesus Christ, love in heaven. Okay? We love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? All right? Okay? Just, that's what Satan does. Satan attacks us with evil. And he uses his prejudice and hate trolls and cowards to do it. Okay? The prejudice and hate trolls and cowards defend Satan. Okay? All right? So, what else? Um, yeah, I could throw in the truth about Jesus Christ. You want me to throw in the truth about Jesus Christ? Yeah, I'll throw in the truth about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a threat to Satan. Okay? That's why he was attacked by evil. He was attacked by evil before he could tell you how to deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? That's the truth I learned when my soul entered heaven. Okay? He was attacked by its prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards. Before he could tell you how to deliver your soul to heaven. He won that day. Okay? He won that day because he never gave up to win. And because he never gave up to win, that kept his soul in heaven after he died. His soul was already in heaven when they tortured and murdered him. Okay? So, I'm being attacked by the same evil that attacked Jesus Christ. This is the same evil. Prejudice and hate is the same evil that attacked Jesus Christ. Okay? Jesus Christ was powerful, unbreakable love. Evil could not break him. Evil cannot break him. Okay? I am powerful, unbreakable love. Evil cannot break me. Okay? That's what I'm showing you in my videos. I'm showing you how to become warriors and become powerful, unbreakable love. So we can fight evil together. Okay? All right? Jesus loves you. He prays for you. He truly your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, 
we got your back. Okay? All right? So. All right, what else was I going to say? Yes, we want you to deliver your soul to heaven because we want you to win. When you win, heaven wins. Okay? When you win, heaven wins. All right? Evil attacks love and freedom. Okay? The prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards and evil and all that attack love and freedom. Okay? Right? When you decrease the forces of your love to conquer evil, you'll be defending love and freedom with its forces of love. Okay? Evil attacks love and freedom. You'll be defending love and freedom with its forces of love. This is, I'm trying to explain a little bit of the war to you, how that works, okay? So, and we want you to win. We want you to conquer evil and win, okay? And do what they say can't be done. Now, what I mean by do what they say can't be done is the laws of prejudice, okay? Let me explain the laws of prejudice for a minute here. Huh? Something I almost missed, okay? The laws of prejudice is I can't, I cannot, that's impossible. You can't, you cannot, that's impossible. Things like that. Do what they say can't be done. Yes, you can deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? All right? Yes, you can. Believe in yourself. Yes, you can. Okay? Because, see, the laws of prejudice is there to keep your soul out of heaven. That's, you know, the I can't, I cannot. That's your own fear. That's your own fear telling you that. When you remove your fear, you will overcome that. The I can't, I cannot, that's impossible, things like that, okay? You overcome that stuff when you remove your fear, okay? And say, I'm gonna do what they say can't be done and deliver my soul to heaven. That's what you do, okay? That's what I did. I said, I'm gonna do what they say can't be done. And I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven 10 years ago, okay? So. Yeah, you got to go up against the laws of prejudice, okay? Anything of discouragement is the laws of prejudice. You find that in prejudice and hate, okay? All right? Things like you cannot, you can't do this, you can't do that, that's not good enough. All, all things of discouragement come from, you find that in prejudice and hate, okay? You find encouragement in the forces of love from heaven. Okay? You find encouragement. Okay? All right? Things like that. All right? So do what they say can't be done. I almost missed that. I was supposed to throw that in there. But I want you to do what they say can't be done. Okay? And you only bow and break to Jesus Christ's love in heaven. Do not bow and break the prejudice and hate. And when you learn that difference, that's what you're going to do. As your soul gets closer to heaven, you learn more and more of the difference between prejudice and hate and its forces of love. Okay? All right? Jesus Christ's love in heaven is the forces of love. Okay? Prejudice and hate is found here, down here. There's no prejudice up there. All your prejudice and hate is down here. Okay? All right? So... The forces of love is up there. Prejudice and hate is down here. Okay? So I want you to believe on what's up there and not what's down here. So your love starts fighting evil. Okay? All right? So we love you, Jesus Christ, love in heaven. Okay? We love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? Until next week, you have a good week. Bye.